Hey guys, good morning. This is Brad Kranz. Welcome to Friday. I want to just call this my Friday update, but posing the question up front, how do you define financial freedom? Okay. And I want to go from there. I want to talk a little bit about our, what's happening in the economy, give you an economic update. And then I want to weave in the four most important life choices that I've made. And then I want to put out a call to action. And my call to action there is what will you do based on everything that's going on right now? What will you do? What changes will you make in your life? And I want to share some information that came in from our uh, financial planner this week. Uh, their parent company, LPL Financial, put out, I think, a pretty good synopsis of what's going on. I want to take some time uh, to go through that here real quick. Interestingly, they start out with the quote from Chuck Swindoll, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. And that is so true, guys, isn't it? I could spend the whole time today talking about it, but think about this. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So what are you gonna do, okay? Think about that as we go on here. You know, as the battle of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic continues, you know, we've, we're responding, It'll it's gonna determine how we beat it the, so far, but I think we're making some good progress, right? We're, we're getting there. And the bottom line they said here on that was our response to the crisis has shown the resolve and the strength of the human spirit, which is why we'll overcome. And I think that's really great, right guys? We can, we can do it. You know, life's 10% what happens to us, 90% how we respond to it. I think as a country overall, we've responded really well to this, but the disparity comes in because the response from the economy and the stock market has shown a disconnect between the two right? The economy and the stock market haven't responded the same way, right? I know that, you know, tragically, we've got like 22 million people that have filed for unemployment here. And let me, let me jump to my next screen here. You know, we've all seen this going on. Uh, it's happening every day. The statistics are piling up, you know, millions of U.S. Work, workers have filed for unemployment benefits, benefits last week, right? And it's wiped out nearly all the jobs that have been created during the record 10-year economic sp expansion that we just had. So the economy is really retracted. People are out of work. They don't have jobs. Many people I don't think will have jobs to go back to. We'll see. But companies are struggling. Individuals are struggling. Keep that in mind. Again, my end question, what are you going to do about it? What, what will you do? I want you to keep that in mind. Okay. So we've seen historic drops in consumer confidence. You know, retail sales have tanked, you know, except I think grocers are doing pretty well. Um, industrial production is down. Oil prices are way down. They're in the tank, which is good for us as consumers because gas prices have gone down, right? Um, and housing starts have all shown how quickly our economy has gone from being rock solid and, and huge on growth to virtually stopping in its tracks, right? And small businesses have been impacted the most by this economic crisis and the government and the Federal Reserve actions to bridge the gap to better times are unprecedented, right? This is an unprecedented event. I've never seen in my lifetime, people that are older than me never have either, guys. So it's unprecedented and it takes unprecedented action. So let's give a little bit of good news. This recession, they say, though it's not officially declared yet, is unlike anything we've ever seen. Again, this is, this is a first, right? And it wasn't caused by the virus itself, they're saying, but by the government telling people to stay home in an effort to flatten the curve. That's what, that's what tanked everything. So they don't think, and I'm going to agree with them here, that the government can simply turn on a switch, right, and get things back to normal, okay? Because the government doesn't drive the economies. If you haven't studied economics, the government doesn't make anything. They produce nothing. They consume resources. The government can't just turn on a switch, right? Business has to get it going again. You know, but with all the stimulus making its way through the system, many people receive their stimulus checks. That's great. Um, that's going to help a little bit, but it's not a permanent solution. Okay. They think this could be one of the shortest recessions ever. So that's good news, but there's still going to be how, the recovery time. We get back on, we turn the engine back on, business gets going again. What do you do? What do you do if you've lost your job? What do you do if you've wiped out your savings? right? What if your jobs don't exist anymore? What are you going to do? So I want to talk about here bridge real quick and talk about four of the most important life choices that I've made, guys. This is just for me personally, but I want to share some of this from my heart today, guys. Number one, I'm a Christian. I accepted Jesus Christ back in 1985. That was literally a life-changing event for me, and it has eternal 
consequences. Okay, this is my story, I get to share it. Okay, but that was the number one most significant decision I made in my life. Number two was just shortly, about a year later, 1986, I married my wife, Joni, and we've been married for 33 years. We've had some ups and downs through you guys. We're kind of in the up right now, praise God, but I married my wife. Thirdly was many years later, it was just about last year, in fact, we left our jobs in 2019. Now, why is this significant? Well, I've been comfortable out somewhat for 12 years, we weren't really moving, but it opened the door to where I'm at right now and getting to be, to be introduced to and meet some people that would absolutely change my life. I didn't know that initially last year, but in, in retrospect and looking back, that was a, a significant decision. It was the third most significant decision in my life leaving my job because it opened up other opportunities that I may or may not have had the opportunity to take had I not left my job. But fourthly was partnering because of that, meeting Adam and Ashley Reeker, Calvin Becerra, and partnering with 3LE and Jeunesse Global back in December. Why is that significant, guys? It's what I've been looking for my whole life, guys. I didn't realize how much I had desired to get back in the entrepreneurial realm ever, having been in the job world for a while, guys. And it's been life changing. Just the caliber of people I've been able to meet. There's nine of us that form part of the management uh, team on 3LE guys. So we've got well over 100 years of experience, both in bu the business world and in our industry network marketing industry. But the to get around those caliber of people and be exposed to people that are making things happen and taking action on their dreams, guys, has been awesome. So those are my significant decisions there. I want to jump to and uh, look at a, a call to action. Okay, guys, why am I doing this video? Okay, I'm not just out here sharing. I really want to look, reach out to those of you that are looking. If you're looking for a solution in your life, you're, you're down in the dumps, you don't have anything going on, your, your savings are wiped out, you're, you lost your job, what do you do? Here's my call to action, guys. What do you do to create a second income? Well, we can help you with that. What's your definition of financial freedom? I posed that on my business page this morning and I'm gonna answer that, it's different for everybody, but financial freedom really for me guys is where money is not a deciding factor in the decisions I make. I'm not totally where I wanna be on that yet, but how about having your house paid for? How about having your car, your cars paid for? How about having money in the bank? So when something like COVID-19 happens, you're not stressed out, you're not wiped out, you're not hoping and praying for that stimulus check to arrive just so you can meet your basically day-to-day -day bills guys so i'm looking for people that want to partner with me that want to partner with our organization 3le and jeunesse global guy is that you guys i don't know are you looking do you want to work with the right people do you want to work with leaders that know what they're doing and where they're going so my call to action is a question again is what will you do okay don't do anything, guys. That's the worst you can do is sit on your couch and just hope and pray that, and that's not bad, but take, it, take some action now. Don't let this happen. Don't be a victim of circumstances and of what's going on. Take action now. Focus on your dreams. Partner with the right people that can help you, and let's lock arms, and let's move forward, and let's help you reach your dreams and make a difference out there, guys. Bye-bye.